Now, this illustration deals with grounding antenna systems for NEC and UL. Now, notice in the NEC loop for grounding, we suggest you see 820.100B, 820.100D is in dog, and 800.20.100D, informational note two. We also uh, uh, recommend that you review UL 1270, figure 73.1, UL 1409, figure 75.1, and UL 1410, figure 105.1. And then we point out that the satellite dish can be a smaller dish mounted on a structure or building. The one you see is more of the older type, large type that is uh, installed outside on a concrete pad, earth grounded in accordance with 820.100B. Then a number six bonding jumper should be routed and connected to the grounding electrode system of the service at the facility in accordance with 820.100D. The grounded conductor discussed in detail is 820.100A1 through A6. Now, with this information, what we're saying, you can't ground that dish and then use the uh, shield of a cable or sheath of a cable to serve as a, a grounding means. You have to ground it properly. Now, if the dish... It's kind of small, and it's on the roof of a building, say. Then we would take a, a grounding conductor uh, from that dish and ground it to an inner system bonding system that's in 250.94 of the code that we've already reviewed. Now, if you've been reviewing this entire Chapter 16, you may just come to this particular uh, uh, illustration to review this, and that's okay, you know. Notice your lead-in wire is 820.44B as in boy, or exception one through three, whichever is applicable. And that's what this figure 16-139 is illustrating. A very large dish, usually in the backyard, or a smaller dish that is uh, on a, a structure. And if that happens to be the case, it's on the structure, small. Review 250.94 for the connections and grounding and bonding procedures.